Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, April 13th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. I was listening to a podcast on Tuesday where they talked about the mindset of successful people in decision making. Their take was that successful people are more aggressive decision makers because they aren't afraid of failure. They understand that you have to take risks if you want to win big. So when I hear someone like Ahmed El Sadani is toying around with the idea of moving up to the open class later this year, my mind immediately goes to the big risks equal big rewards answer. We've talked about Ahmed over the last months as someone who had a breakout potential as a 212 star this year. But to me, the move to the open could be just as big for his career. So if he does end up making the jump, that could end up being the best thing he could have done in the long run. I'm sure all of you have been watching Tiger King on Netflix. I can't get enough of it. So when I see a clip of Seth Shaw and his unique mullet training this weekend, in my head I immediately picture him as a way more jacked version of Joe Exotic. Even though it's been a while since Seth's competed, if he comes back now, that mullet almost guarantees him a place in the first call out. And as long as Carol Baskin isn't on the judging panel, a guy with that kind of hair talent could easily end up bringing home the win. If you're into investing, now is the time to buy because you can find incredible value in the market that will reap some huge dividends down the road. And if I was looking for a market value in classic physique, Hani Saeed would be someone I think I'd buy a few shares of. Last week in the second year pro released an update that caught more than a few people's attention. Unless you're a bodybuilding nerd, Hani might not be on your radar, but all you need to do is look at the posted photo to see that he's someone who could have a really bright future in this division. And if he adds a few more pounds of muscle in the right areas, I can see him making some waves later in the season. Every time I turn around, there's someone trying to send me messages or photos about some new young guy I've never heard of who's out there setting the world on fire. And when you're 20 years old, 260 pounds, and already looking like a seasoned vet, the way Amir Omarajic is right now, that alone should be enough to make people wake up and pay attention. Last year, Amir took some major steps towards establishing himself as one of the top amateur talents in the world. And I'm told that people in his camp see this year as a time to seal the deal. At 20 years old, this kid hasn't even begun to reach his peak yet. So once he starts to get a little bit more seasoning under his belt, I think we'll start to see him really take off. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you.